The ABS won't be asking about ethnicity at the next census. Why do some experts say it's important? So the Australian Bureau of Statistics next census here in Australia is 2026. And yes, they've confirmed via their website that they're not going to be asking about ethnicity. And their reason for it, which we'll get to, is quite interesting. But first, let's see what these experts have to say. I mean, those arguing against collecting Ethnicity on the census, their reason is my racism, which, I mean, water wet. Demographer warns time is running out to add ethnicity data to the census. Demographer Liz Allen from the Australian National University explained there's been a move to use byproduct data, which is data collected from across government agencies as an alternative to the census. She said the ABS took measures ahead of the last census after the failures in 2016, which saw a mass outage of the census website. I remember that. What a cluster f that was. And this is a government that wants to have a centralised digital ID for you. They can't even get a basic online census right. Yeah, no thanks. That prevented thousands of people from completing the survey online for the first time. The analysis, Dr. Allen said, was conducted by the ABS using administrative byproduct data to see how closely it matched with the traditional census. It came pretty close. The ABS currently can run a census without having to speak to anyone, without having anyone fill out the census form, she said. There have been suggestions in the UK and New Zealand that the days of the traditional census may be over. Dr. Allen said that if Australia moved in this direction, it would be difficult to add new data fields like ethnicity, which doesn't exist within the byproduct data gathered across government agencies. For example, it was not until last year that the National Self-Deletion and Self-Harm Monitoring System began collecting data on self-deletion by country of birth. We're now seeing the death of the traditional census in the UK and New Zealand. The problem for us is that if we don't get it up soon, we won't ever have that data. Well, I have my opinion on why this is going on. But first, let's just find out the reason why the ABS isn't going to collect ethnicity data at the next census. Right? This is from abs.gov.au. The ethnic identity topic and enhancements to ancestry topic both proceeded to testing. However, despite testing multiple concepts around ethnic identity, including ethnic groups slash groups, cultural background, ethnic and cultural heritage, and the culture you belong to, there were significant issues. Most notably, the testing showed that the public is unlikely to have a consistent understanding of what ethnic identity is or the difference between ethnic identity and ancestry. The ABS determined that due to these complexities, collecting both ethnic identity and ancestry on the same form, it is not feasible for the 2026 census. You see what they're saying there? What they're saying there is, my diverse audience watching from all over Australia and all around the world, uh, that you're too dumb. You are too dumb to figure out the difference between ethnicity and ancestry. Yeah, but I, I'm not surprised there. Like this, this soft bigotry of low expectations from leftist governments like this is not new to somebody like me. I've seen it all the time. I mean, we did get this study that white liberals dumb themselves down when they speak to black people. A new study contends, sure, this is an American study, uh, but you could just substitute white Labor supporters, dumb themselves down when speaking to minorities here. Exactly the same thing. Now, the death of the traditional census in the UK and New Zealand and probably why we're seeing the death of this census here in Australia as well. Uh, it's because these leftist government don't want you to know that they're importing a voter base. They want to hide those figures as much as they can, which is what they're doing. So over the next couple of years, the Albanese government here is going to import, what, just over a million people and promise them a whole bunch of free shit in order to secure his place in power. So one thing that he needs to happen is that the census doesn't show that he's done that. And then what he needs to do as well is stop you from talking about it. Stop criticising the government. 
with such things as a uh, mis and disinformation bill. Madigan, you are you are propagating the great replacement theory. No, I'm just noticing. And if anything, it's the white leftists here in Australia who actively promote the great replacement theory. Uh, we've seen it in places like America. They're saying that the country is now becoming more diverse and the country will soon have white people as a minority. Yay! This is this gaslighting that they do when they say it's not happening. Oh, yeah, it is happening, but it's a good thing. And why are you upset about it? We, we see it all the time. Look, I, I don't know how to combat this other than uh, wake up to who you're voting for. Realise what they're doing and vote them out and be aware who it is that you're voting in to power. Because keep an eye on the so-called conservative Liberal Party here in Australia. They're not much better than the leftist Labor Party here. They're pretty much the same side of the coin. Once again, I'm imploring you to look at the alternatives. All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video. So follow me up there, do all the things down there. Are we done? Yeah, we're done.